career, now in its third decade, Zadrona Saviskas has shown that he just might be the most powerful man to have walked the planet. But the king of strength athletics has lost his crown. Big Z's journey to reclaim his throne as the world's strongest man begins next. For the 37th time, the Commerce World's Strongest Man competition will be contested. And the host venue is the Commerce Hotel and Resort in Los Angeles, California. We'll get things underway with a real test. The first of six events facing qualified group four will be the loading race. In the loading race, each athlete will have a set of four anvils that weigh 275 pounds each that have to be picked up, carried, and placed on the platform 12 meters away. Speed and endurance will be the premium assets used here. And heat one, even LaRue of Australia is making his second world's strongest man appearance. The 36-year-old is 6'3", 291 pounds. England's Mark Felix is a marvel at 47 years of age. He's a two-time finalist who made his debut way back in 04. And a 45-year-old Nick Best of the USA is another veteran. The Las Vegas resident was a finalist back in 2010. And this is an event that he absolutely loves. Man, between him and Mark Felix, this is the senior tour of the world's strongest man. But look at Nick Bass out of the gate quick. And look how he put the anvil there vertically. He's doing that to create more room for himself. Nick Bass has the lead, the 45-year-old. And again, in the middle, Felix at 47 years of age. He's in second midway through. And LaRue, the young buck, at 36 years old, he's in last. Nick Bass looking good. Those anvils are hard to carry and get a grip on, but Nick Bass working. Bass looking strong to the final anvil. 275 pounds isn't a lot of weight, but when you're asked to hold it and run with it, your arms and back get blown out. Nick Best, 39.35, wins the heat. Battle for seconds, and Felix able to get it just in front. So Nick Best here in group four takes the first heat. You got to know on that fourth anvil, Nick Best's arms and legs and back were unbelievably fatigued, but he somehow kept his pace right to the platform. He even had a little extra left in the tank to celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, from the well, that's a rather relaxed looking Bjorn Solvang of Norway. The 26 year old is six feet tall and weighs 260, which is the lightest in the entire 30 man field. It's the sixth trip for the world's strongest man for England's Lawrence Chalet. The 31 year old is a two time finalist with a best finish of fourth place in 2011. And Zedruna Saviskas of Lithuania, perhaps the most decorated strength athlete in history. And the 38-year-old is a three-time champion of this event. Yeah, Zadrunas has surprising quickness for a guy that's 6'3", 386. Look for him to challenge Nick Best's time. And a quick start here for Zaviskas. Keep your eye on Bjorn Solving at the top of your screen. He's got this little knee height thing he's doing to get that weight up. Oh, there it goes. Look at Big Z here in the front. Just a smooth operator. Lauren Chale struggled with that second anvil, but there is no struggle for Big Z. He's looking strong. It's like he's carrying a bag of laundry or something. Zaviskas here on his final anvil. Time to beat 39-35. Can he do it? Zaviskas at the finish. Hands off. Good. 17 100 off. He will finish second overall. Solvang puts it down. Hands off. And then Chale. So Solvang third overall and Chale sixth overall in this event. And because the viscous put those anvils up there horizontally, he didn't leave himself any room for that last one. That may have cost him first place. Meantime, Chalet not nearly the start that he was hoping for. So Best was number one in the loading race with a time of 39-35 and earned six points towards his overall total. Zaviskas was close behind. Chalet finished way down in sixth. We remain just minutes from downtown LA and just north of Orange County on the beautiful grounds of the Commerce Hotel and Resort. Up next for the six athletes in group four is the truck pull in air, and this is 
as much about speed as it is horsepower. It sure is, Grant. The strongman will have to generate a giant surge to move the 13-plus ton truck off an incline. But after the course flattens out, it's going to be speed and technique that will hopefully get them to the 30-meter mark. That is the veteran Englishman Mark Felix. Mark finished fourth in the first event and will be looking to improve on that finish here. Two athletes in Group 4 have already had their chance with the truck pull. Bjorn Solvang finished the course in 48.58 to be the leader. Eben LaRue is currently in second. Take the strain! Felix has a tremendously powerful lower body. He should do well here. Mark Felix at 47 years of age. A little bobble off the start. You have to get yourself into a good, smooth rhythm. Felix uses that big surge to get that truck moving. But had that bobble, but now he's smoothing out, Brent, and doing pretty well. Into the flat portion now of this 25-meter course. 26,500 pounds is what Felix is pulling. You see his feet start to sway off that mark. He's not really tight now, Brent. It looks like his right hip's lagging a little bit, which means his left hip's doing all the work. Mark Felix pulling to the finish. And Felix across at 42.88. So that will be the mark to beat. And Mark Felix with a good effort, the Englishman. But look how focused Mark was as he moved the truck across the finish line. Though I bet somewhere in his mind he was begging for that whistle to blow. If Nick Best's goal is to return to the final, he's off to a good start with a victory in this group's first event. Now the task at hand is to get the 26,500 pound truck across the finish line 30 meters away as quickly as possible. I really like Nick Best and to be his age and still Ready. compete at this high of a level certainly is impressive, but he's going to need to be nearly flawless from here on out for him to get to the final. And Brent, early on after that big surge of power, he's looking a little herky-jerky, little bobble there. He's got to smooth things out and in a hurry. Nick Pest trying to get that thing rolling. His upper body seems to be really disconnected from his lower body. Now he seems to be in a nice rhythm. You have to wonder if he had started out a little bit more in sync, whether or not he'd have a better time by the time he gets this thing finished. Time to beat 42.88 for Nick Best. Going to come up short of Mark Felix and post a time of 46.31, which will put him in second place here in the truck pull. And showing some frustration at the finish for the American. Currently puts him in second place in the truck pull from the USA, Nick Bass. You can see that Nick felt his arms were no longer helping him over the last few meters. He let his legs do all of the work. Ladies and gentlemen, from England. This is the other Lawrence athlete to hail from England in group four, Lawrence Chalet. Lawrence finished a disappointing sixth in event one, and Aaron Lawrence purposely came in here at a slim Take down 313 from past years. How's that gonna affect him right here? Well, it's interesting, Brent, because Ready. typically body mass is huge for the start with the truck being parked on an incline, but Chalet has enough lower body strength where if he can get that thing moving past that five meter mark, I think the spelt 313 pounder is gonna be just fine. Time to beat 42.88, set by Mark Felix. Chalet getting some momentum here. He looks smooth. He got that truck moving past its initial inertia pretty easily. Lawrence Chalet. You hear him breathing hard. You have to have some endurance if you want to move a 26,500 pound truck. And Chalet into the lead. 40.76 yeah! and a good bounce back for him here in the truck pull. It sure was, Prince. Lawrence was really solid throughout that run, maintaining his form of his head down, his legs driving, his arms tugging. And it wasn't until the final few steps where his legs just got a little bit wobbly. But can you blame him? <laughs> no doubt. Citrina Zaviskas of Lithuania is the final competitor in the truck pull. The three-time champ comes in second place overall. 
And Aaron, I think it's safe to say that Big Z has plenty of power to get this truck moving. <laughs> There's no question, man. This is Big Z's event. He's got the mass, he's got the strength, and he's a savvy veteran. Here goes the viscous. Perhaps the strongest man ever to walk the earth. You know what? It's interesting. Look at the different technique here. He's so strong. His steps are more measured. His hand movements are more measured. But Brent, he's flying down the track. 40.76. The time to beat. And he's on good pace. Look at the size of those arms tugging on that rope. Each time he pulls that rope through and each time he takes a step, that truck is accelerating. The viscous, impressive showing here in the truck pole. 37 flats, and Zaviskas wins the event. Just a cartoonish effort. Big C gets the W with a time of 37 seconds. Lawrence Chale was second. In third, it was Mark Felix. Nick Best was fourth. Zaviskas now in his customary spot atop the leaderboard. He has 11 points. Best has nine points in second, then it's Felix in third. Chalet and Solvang are in fourth. The Connors World's Strongest Band moved on to Hollywood in a New York City backlot for Group 4's third event, the deadlift. Nick Best has had trouble in the past with back injuries, and the deadlift wasn't going to help. The American had just three reps. Bjorn Solvang weighs just 260 pounds, so three reps is a respectable showing for the man from Sweden. Even LaRue Australia dug deep, but dug out a total of five repetitions in 33.61 seconds, which put him in fourth place for the event. Mark Felix is practically unbeatable in the deadlift, but not on this day. He finished with six reps in 29.05 seconds. Zadruna Zaviskis is another guy unaccustomed to losing in the deadlift. But he was the runner-up with six reps in 28.10 seconds. The victory went to England's Lawrence Chalet, who did just enough to edge the three-time World Strongest Man champion Zaviskis for the victory. Lawrence Shelley has reason to be fired up. He won the deadlift with six reps in just over 28. Zaviskas was just .02 back. So Shelley proved a point, moves up to second place in the process. He's just four points behind Zaviskas after three of six events. Felix is third and best is fourth. Just the top two qualify for the final. Group four's qualifying round has been business as usual for Lithuania's Zadrunas Zaviskas. With his trademark power on full display, the three-time champ finds himself in his typical spot, the top of the leaderboard. But there are five other athletes chasing the legendary strongman and the two very precious places in the final from this group. Who will move on? Who will be eliminated? We'll find out next. Welcome back to the Commerce Hotel and Resort, located just minutes from Southern California's premier tourist destinations and the host for the 37th edition of the Commerce World's Strongest Man. The fourth of six events to face the six athletes in group number four was the Super Yoke, an event that seriously challenges the back and legs. Bjorn Solvang barely left the starting blocks. The Swede only managed to move the 1,000 pound weight a total of 0.6 meters. Even LaRue of Australia also failed to complete the 25-meter course. He was credited with a distance of 15.10 meters. Mark Felix of England crossed the finish line, but his time of 25.87 seconds was well off the pace of the top three. You know power production is never going to be a problem for three-time champion Zadruna Saviskas. The Lithuanian recorded a time of 17.75. Nick Best of Las Vegas brought the half-ton apparatus home in a speedy 16.83 seconds to claim the second position. Lawrence Chalet blasted off on the whistle and never looked back. The Englishman's time of 13.52 was phenomenal. 
A blazing time gives the victory to Chalet. Nick Best took the second spot. In third, it was Big Z. Mark Felix fourth. The overall standings for group four have tightened up. Saviscus holds the lead with 20 points. Chalet is two points off the pace in second. Then it's Best in third with 15 points and Felix in fourth with 14. Today's edition of the Commerce Flashback features Bruce Wilhelm. Eight athletes travel to California for the very first World Strongest Man competition in 1977. And it was Wilhelm, a former Olympic weightlifter, who outlasted the field to win the title. We remain in Los Angeles, California, at the Commerce Hotel and Resort for more of the Commerce World Strongest Man. And the fifth of six unique tests of strength facing the athletes in Group 4's qualifying round is the Viking Press. Well, if you want to see just how strong your shoulders and triceps are, this 330-pound Viking Press is the perfect place to do it. But they don't work alone because the legs and hips are needed to generate the initial snap and thrust to get the weight moving. On to Heat 1, the 36-year-old Eben LaRue from Brisbane, Australia, is in sixth place overall after four events. Bjorn Solvang is the lightest athlete in the entire 30-man field at 260 pounds. The Norwegian showed last year he has no Thank trouble you, pressing position. objects much larger than his own body weight. Man, you got that right. It'd definitely Take be an up. upset if Bjorn wasn't at least in the double digits here. Lift. Look at Solvang resetting his feet, but he's a machine. Great thrust and hip snap through his midsection and lower body, and then his shoulders and triceps just taken over. LaRue has yet to get one, and Solvang is in a beautiful rhythm. He's now in double digits. Looking good. LaRue looks like his center of gravity is too far out in front of the apparatus. He sets it down, so he's done. But Solvang, just a smooth operator, baby. 13 for Solvang. And that'll do it. He sets the early mark, though, and a very impressive one at that. Meantime, LaRue really struggled in this event. In those 13 reps, Solvang lifted nearly 4,300 pounds. Not bad for the 260-pounder. Now, LaRue never really seemed to get comfortable, but Solvang didn't have that problem. He just powered up rep after rep after rep. Well, Nick Best of Las Vegas, Nevada, is in third place in the overall standings. But he needs to get into the top two to automatically qualify for the final. In fourth place overall, Mark Felix is in a very similar situation. He needs to pick up some points. The veteran English strongman is in fourth place overall. The other option is to earn one of the wild card berths, going to the two third place finishers with the highest point totals. Right now, Warwick Brandt and Dave Oslin own those spots with 26 and 25 and a half points, respectively. Now, Brent, when you look at the anatomy of both of these competitors, they are big and bulky, which can sometimes be a disadvantage inside the apparatus, whose handles are at a fixed width. It makes it harder for the big guys. Both these guys have to finish strong here to have a chance of getting to the final. And Felix having trouble locking out his elbow straight again. We talked about that physiology playing a role. And both guys are done. Nick Best, currently in third here in the Viking press, getting six reps. Meantime, Mark Felix goes into second place with seven reps. As the rep counter climbs when you're trying to press 350 pounds, you just have to put your whole body into the effort, as Mark Felix just showed. Please welcome from so England, far, so good for Lawrence Chalet's slim down and more muscle bound physique. The Englishman is in second place overall. Zadruna Saviskis, the champion in 2009, 2010, and 2012 can lock up a ninth trip to the World's Strongest Man final with a good showing here in the Viking press. Chalet certainly Stand would up. need his personal best here to compete with Big Z, who's just an animal when it comes Down. to pressing. Down. 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 Look how Down. effortless Down. it is for Saviskas. And a big reason it is effortless, Down. Brent, is because he's using those Popeye Down. S cats Down. to get up on his toes to Down. generate that initial inertia Down. to get Down. that four-wheeler moving. Down. Down. 
Dog. Now in double digits with 10 for Zaviskis. Number to beat is 13. Dog. And Zaviskis matches it there. Chale is done at seven. And Zaviskis checks out after tying for the win. With 13 reps, Chale ties for third with seven. And this result for Zaviskis gets him into the world's strongest man final. Yeah, and you get the feeling that Big Z could have thrown up a couple more reps if he had to. Zadruna Zaviskis is just a guy who simply loves to lift unbelievably heavy objects, and he'll share in the victory at the Viking Press. It was a great showing by Bjorn Solvang to tie Zadruna Zaviskis, perhaps the greatest presser in history with 13 repetitions. Mark Felix and Lawrence Schale tied the third. Zaviskis leads the overall standings at 25 and a half points and clinches a place in the final. In the second place, Chalet has a major edge in the battle for the other automatic place in the final. The Commerce World's Strongest Man rolls on at Universal Studios Hollywood with the last of six events for Group 4, the Atlas Stones. Brent, this event requires overall body strength and athleticism to get these five stones that run from 285 pounds to 410 pounds off the ground and onto their platforms as quickly as possible. Big Z is now a three-time champion, five-time runner-up, and has already clinched a spot in his ninth final. The USA's Nick Best chances to move on are rather bleak. Nick's in fourth place, four and a half points behind Lawrence Chalet, who's second. Even LaRue and Bjorn Solvang have completed the Atlas Stones to wrap up their time in California. Solvang completed three stones in a faster time to be the current leader. Ready? Here we go with Zabiscus and Best in the Atlas Stones. Nick enjoys being here, and he's certainly going to compete. You see Big Z there just kind of happily skipping it along, picking up those big rocks. 330 pound stone about to go up on this third podium for him as Nick Best does a great job getting his 330 pound stone up. And now Big Z is going to conserve energy and help Best along. He throws the fourth one up and on to the 410 pounder. This is all about pride at this point for Nick Best. Little too early trying to get that stone up onto the podium. He should have taken a couple steps closer. Now he's going to have to lift that thing again, Brent. Nick Best. On the final stone, crowd urging him. Just not enough. What an effort by the veteran Nick Best. Bill finds a way to smile. And he's the current leader, four stones in 26.91. Big Z checked out after showing the fans a little bit of something. Three stones in 20.02. And he is already qualified, of course, for the final. Nick Best was a long shot to make it to the final, but you have to admire the way that he brought everything he had into fighting that fifth stone. Unfortunately for Nick, the decision went to the 410-pound boulder. England's Lawrence Chalet is likely just moments away from reaching his first final in three years. Chalet knows if he can complete four stones, regardless of time, or three in faster than 36.38, then nothing Mark Felix does will matter. Felix, the other Englishman in the group, will have to hope for a major mistake from his opponent. Well, Mark Felix showed his leg strength in the deadlift, but this is all about total body strength, but he popped that first 285-pound stone up there pretty easily. Lord Chalet pops up the 310-pounder. Both these competitors looking strong early. If these boulders get heavy as Felix goes for the 355-pounder, Chalet gets that 330-pounder up. And the job is done for Chalet. That did it. He is in the final with that third stone in under 36 seconds. And Felix will win the event. Five stones in 34-26. And Chalet, just for good measure, will go after the last one. Yeah, this one's about pride. Chalet so enjoys lifting very heavy things. What a competitor he is. Not surprising at all that he wants to get this fifth stone up, but it's going to take a Herculean effort, Brent. Lawrence Chalet. Whistle blows. But he's into the final.
with five stones and 34 So Felix is headed home, but still England, takes home a consolation prize in winning the Atlas Stones. And for Lawrence Shotley, comes up short of all five stones, but he qualifies for the Lawrence final four stones in 37.13. So 47-year-old Mark Felix finished strong with a victory with five stones in 34-26. And 45-year-old Nick Best was second. Chalet was third, while Zaviskas was fourth. Zaviskas looks ready for the final. He and Chalet will both move on. Felix's point total isn't enough to get a wild card, so that means Warwick Brand from Group 1 will receive one. So just three of the 12 spots in the World's Strongest Man final remain available. And we'll see who can seize hold of them next time. For my partner, Aaron Taylor, I'm Brent Stover saying so long from California.